Today I am very excited because I have recently made somewhat of a uh, breakthrough uh, when it comes to making uh, text presets inside DaVinci Resolve. The behind the scenes and like in-depth uh, breakdown of exactly what that breakthrough is, that will come in a separate video, but today um, I'm excited because uh, the fruits of that breakthrough um, are uh, available to all of you. Specifically being a massive update to my Text Essentials uh, Text Presets Pack for DaVinci Resolve. This pack was my first paid product and I've been wanting to revisit it, update it for a while, and in the process of looking into that, um, I stumbled across something um, that just it, it really changes almost this entire pack. If you follow the link in the description, you will get to um, the store page for Text Essentials, or if you've purchased Text Essentials in the past, um, you should have got an update uh, when I uploaded uh, that update to the store, should have been sent out again. But if you grab it there, you'll get this download DRFX, uh, it will have version 1.1. And then you just double click this, uh, and it will launch or switch to Resolve if you have it open uh, to install, saying, do you want to install? Click install, yes. Now, uh, one small issue, uh, if you already have it installed, then now if you go to uh, Sterling Supply Co under titles, uh, text essentials, um, you will have the new ones which have these straight names, and then you'll have the old version that has uh, the, all this SSC text before that. I made this before we had these subfolders, they're really cool. But if you want to um, delete the past version of uh, text essentials, the best way will be to hop over to the Fusion page, make sure your effects library is open here, come to templates edit, and you can click on that edit, and then you can come up to these three dots, click those, and go to Show Folder. That will take you to where um, uh, this folder structure is located on your hard drive, and you can see here it's this Edit Folder. If you go one back to Templates, uh, you will see all the DRFX you have loaded on your system. I uh, can scroll down to uh, SSC at Text Presets. I believe at least on my system, this is what um, the first version was called. I might have renamed it. I'll look for either SSC Text Presets or Text Essentials. And if I uh, just go in here and delete that, um, Resolve might have to think about it. If I hop back to Resolve, and uh, I, we can check here in the Fusion page, if I open up Edit, Titles, Sterling Supply Co, Text Essentials, scroll, all those past ones are gone now. Awesome, but here is the big deal. I'm back on the edit page. I'm gonna make a little timeline real quick. I can uh, navigate to those titles, and maybe I should have kept the old version for reference, uh, but it's okay, um, because uh, the old version had very, very limited controls. And while I did do a small update um, to increase functionality, if you are willing to dive into the Fusion page, you don't need to do that anymore. Here, if we look at this default scale animation, it whoo, scales in real quick. Whoo, just a nice boom intro. But hey, what if you want to go uh, really in depth with the shading element tools? Shading elements, really, really powerful in this text plus system. And if you use the default text plus title over here um, in just titles, if you go over, you can see, hey, you have the, all these controls for like a layout, uh, you know, transform characters, you can I have it move along a path, all that. If you hop over to shading, um, you can come in, like, add an outline, add, like, a drop shadow, which you can't see. You can add, like, this extra border that goes over, uh, like, just some of the characters or all of the text. It's really cool. And now, um, you can do all of that from the edit page on all my titles. I can hop into uh, that shading tab, toggle on those same things, text, and all the animation, importantly, will also carry over. Whew. And then say I did want to do something else. Uh, I can come up to layout. Uh, yeah, let's go to layout circle. That's fun. I can change the position of this, change the uh, perspective for how much I want to ramp that right. Maybe size, oh, width of that circle. Yeah, if you want to get a completely different look, um, much easier to like experiment, make a whole bunch of new things, and it just works. And just another small tip, uh, as always, we have power bins over here. I can come into any of these, and if I have a more in-depth uh, text preset I like, I can drag that effect right into that power bin, and then on any other timeline in any other project, as long as I'm in the same database, uh, database <laughs> I can drag that back, and all those customizations will be saved. This alone, massive, massive update. Uh, but while I was doing this, I also went ahead and just added uh, more presets. Most of those uh, will be under some of these other fade in options. The previous version had one little quick fade in, really cool. Um, I added some nice like whew, diagonal fades and fades with some cool zooms. Really, really cool. And I believe the other few we added were just these cool outline effects. Whew, which have the outline of text and then it gets filled in. Uh, these uh, are actually partly made with the shading element tab. So if I hop over to shading element, uh, two is already enabled. That is the initial uh, outline, which, you, hey, you can always come in here, just change the outline for that if you want to. 
Um, but then if you add any of these other options, those will come in with the main text especially if you're just getting uh, started in Resolve or started uh, going a little deeper in Text Plus or making your own text presets. One, I think these presets can save you a lot of time. And two, I think they're pretty um, amazing reference. These are all made with a single Text Plus node in the Fusion page. Uh, if you want more information, you can always click this button to load these in the Fusion page um, and see what's going on. Uh, a lot of this animation is happening over in the modifiers on a follower. This is a really powerful system I've talked about before. I might go into uh, more depth again. It's, it's always helpful to revisit these things. But for now, um, I am very, very excited to be pushing this out. I think this absolutely, you know, re-ups the value of this pack and hopefully um, we'll keep it uh, up to date and uh, an exciting project going forward. And if you've watched this far um, into the video and you don't yet have Text Essentials pack, um, I've got a little something for you, kind of. This is something uh, long-term viewers might have known by now. Text Essentials is one of my paid products that is included in a bundle of paid products that members on my site, SterlingSupply.co, um, get as a part of that membership. So if you want this pack, out right you can absolutely go and buy it but if you want this pack um and some others and you would like to support me on an ongoing basis you can get um all that done i am very excited for some stuff we have rolling out for memberships um hopefully soon this year that's all very exciting um this update is exciting thanks for watching i'll see you next time